Chairman, Secretary General of ITU, distinguished ITU executives and directors, ministers and officials of the host country, Romania, heads of delegations, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from the people and government of Papua New Guinea. As Minister for ICT and Head of Delegation of the Papua New Guinea team, I wish to again convey our appreciation to the government of Romania for hosting the ITU PP22 for the wonderful hospitality given to us so far. I also thank ITU for the continued support in sustaining the cooperation of global communication and connecting the world for a better and safer future. Ladies and gentlemen, in a short space of time, Papua New Guinea has gained needed traction in its digital transformation journey. This is reflected through the following three key milestone policy documents, and they are the Papua New Guinea Digital Transformation Policy of 2020, the Digital Government Act of 2022, and the Digital Government 2023 to 2027. Parallel to this, we are realigning our universal access policy, universal access strategic plan, national broadband plan, and consequently, we'll be making amendments to our National ICT Act of 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, Papua New Guinea's efforts are now shifting to the delivery of digitizing and digitalization. Under the Digital Government Act of 2022, we are enforcing a cloud-first policy, data governance standards, and using a hold-of-government delivery approach. Whilst we are focused on delivering fast, clear, and simple, simple digital services to our government, business, and people, investment in digital infrastructures, including internet governance, digital skills, and cybersecurity remains a challenge for us. <clears throat> In our journey, the biggest lesson we are learning is that digital transformation is not all about technology, but rather about transforming the mindset of government, business, and our people. It is about rethinking our approach in delivering change. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our journey so far, and we encourage that moving forward, the ITU plays a greater role in supporting smaller member states in their respective journeys. In this vein, I, con I reaffirm Papua New Guinea's position that we will continue to support all candidates and any proposal that reflect this focus. Papua New Guinea is an emerging nation in the Pacific region, and we are committed to the ITU. To reflect our commitment, we are doubling our unit contribution from a quarter unit to half a unit. We are also calling to, for the establishment of a sub-regional office in the Pacific. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, I sincerely thank the current ITU Secretary General, Deputy Secretary General's Council members and directors for your immense contribution during your term. We now look forward to working closely with the newly elected officials, and we offer our congratulations in advance. Papua New Guinea has had to rethink its approach for digital transformation. Thus, I encourage that our soon-to-be newly elected officials relook at ITU's approach for global cooperation as well. And before I finish, as the famous Albert Einstein once said, we cannot solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. Thank you for all your time and wish you all the best in the remaining days and weeks as you continue this ITU PP22 and may God bless you all. Thank you.